Hey, what up YouTube? Steven Sparks here, and uh, for this video I'm doing a quick little review and overview of the XFX Radon 7770 HD card. It's got 1 gigabyte GDDR5 memory, 640 cores, and let's also see what else it has. It's got two DVI outputs. I do believe it has an HDMI and a mini HDMI, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I can uh, focus on the specs and key features for you guys. See so if you guys want, you can pause it and read uh, anything else you want to see. So a lot of people don't go into too detailed with the um, boxes, specifications, and all that good stuff. So we can see the system requirements, stuff like that. This is a very actually low wattage card for its performance. I do believe this is an 80 watt card or so, maybe give or take some more or less. It has uh, one PCIe 6 pin power connector, so that's pretty good. So, more of an overview of the box. Let me get this thing open for you guys. Everybody had it opened. see the uh, card itself. As long as I can get it open, that would be nice. Just trying to do it with one hand. Sorry. Try to set this in there, maybe, while I open the box. <clears throat> so here we can see we have some pamphlets. And the uh, door hanger. XFX Pro Series Gaming Power Supply Units. So, pamphlet. We have a bridge for a crossfire which is really nice it's included, except for I can't use it on my system because it only supports uh, one graphics card. Here we have a driver's disk, which you shouldn't use, and just update them off of the website. And some more pamphlets, miscellaneous stuff. The back box, take that out. <coughs> Flip this over, get the card actually out. I guess I just was already opened once before, so of just decides to do a nice little overview. Here we can see the card itself, Ghost Thermal Technology. I've got a very big heat uh, heat sink for the fan. It's a very nice like brushed aluminum finished card. And that looks just awesome. Here we got the outputs. Should I flip it over? It's actually kinda heavy pressure on uh, one of my fingers. It's kind of like hurting it. So you can see you have a nice uh, vent with the XFX logo, which is really cool. Two DVIs, uh, HDMI, and I think, I'm not sure if they no, the other one is not an HDMI. You have a regular HDMI, and I think that's a DisplayPort. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah. Very nice little card. It's actually not too little, especially considering where I'm coming from, something around the size of that. This is the uh, ATI um, X600 series card, 256 megabyte. I re um, re thermal paste of this one. It's just an extra PCIe one. I um, also have my uh, other motherboard. Um, this will be going for a second build with a GT210 um, or GeForce 210 on here. I have a uh, dual core Intium, I'm um, sorry, Intel Pentium dual core. I had clocked at 2.8 gigahertz on this board. It only supports DDR2, but it's gonna be good for a, a basic gaming rig. Excuse my stupidity today, as I just uh, woke up not too long ago just to make these videos for you guys. So if I said anything wrong, I do apologize because I probably didn't realize I said anything that uh, I didn't mean or incorrectly. So here you can say the uh, power consumption for this card will overclocking significantly lower than most other cards, which is great to know. 
So I'll have an overview video, um, actually testing this one, having benchmark and stuff like that uh, up later today, as well as some more overview videos of the um, Corsair TX650 power supply, and uh, also got some more Pavia green LED 80 and 120 millimeter fans. And uh, stay updated, subscribe, and I'll have more videos up shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.